when it comes to Jeb Bush, I think I think that he really posed a strong challenge to Donald Trump, and he didn't back down this time. Now, he attacked Trump multiple times and illustrated how he would make a better leader, and Trump really couldn't do anything to thwart those attacks. Trump defended himself pretty well and rebounded at the first couple attacks that Jeb Bush launched, but towards the end, Trump had nothing. He ran out of steam. He kind of pivoted to the fact that Jeb Bush is failing in the polls, and that's certainly something that you have to take notice of, but I mean, it didn't actually invalidate Jeb Bush's arguments against Trump. So I thought that he came out looking really well there. When it comes to foreign policy, he actually demonstrated real knowledge of foreign policy issues, such as the fact that the Kurds who are Muslims, who Donald Trump wants to ban from entering the country, well, they're actually fighting ISIS. They're one of our biggest allies in the fight against ISIS right now. So I think that that was good for Jeb Bush to point out. However, even though Jeb Bush was very authoritative and decisive and he spoke with confidence, some of the things that he actually said were just downright crazy. Now, first and foremost, he states that he wants to remove, quote, barriers and the high standards that Obama has in warfare, which he's basically referring to the Geneva Convention, which protects uh, against war crimes and collateral damage and whatnot. Uh, basically, by saying that you want to reduce the standards, well, you mean that you don't want to worry about killing civilians. And this is really, really ominous. This is scary to me. To hear someone who has a fairly good chance, I mean, at least one in ten, right, of becoming the next president of the United States, to say that you want to make it easier to kill civilians, that's terrifying to me. That's terrifying to me. Now, also, he doubled down on his comment that getting Saddam was a good deal. And that's just idiotic. As we all know, whenever you overthrow a dictator, who we don't like, by the way, but when you overthrow them, you destabilize the state. So when you took out uh, Saddam Hussein, you destabilized Iraq. When you took out uh, Gaddafi in Libya, you destabilized Libya, and it's now basically a failed state. So we need to mind our own business, basically. Now, overall, this was definitely his strongest performance, and he actually displayed characteristics of a leader, I think. Um, I thought that he was very decisive and assertive, and these are things that he wasn't before. He was more... Um, he was more quiet, he was more uh, reluctant to speak his mind, but I think that he did a good job at really displaying that he does have some of those characteristics as his brother ha has, uh, regardless if you disagree with his policies or not. Uh, but the fact that he wants to perpetuate war crimes and uh, lacks the understanding of what actually causes chaos in the Middle East, well, it just demonstrates that he is not going to be a good leader.